This video can be seen as an introduction to the energy unit of biology. So metabolism transforms matter and energy and is seen as the interactions between molecules and cell pathways. Specific proteins called enzymes facilitate these pathways acting as things called catalysts. That means that they can make reactions happen faster, easier, or both. Catabolic pathways are ones that release energy. Think of cellular respiration, where a cell takes a glucose molecule and breaks it down to release all of the stored energy in the glucose. The opposite pathway is called an anabolic one, and this is where photosynthesis comes in. Anabolic pathways use up energy to build molecules, like when plant cells take in carbon and build a molecule of glucose to store energy into it. Many sources define energy as the capacity to cause change. Scientists have created these dogmas called the laws of thermodynamics in order to better define the transformation of energy. So the first law of thermodynamics says that energy can be transferred and transformed, but not destroyed. Energy is always flowing, and it's impossible to lose or create energy. Energy doesn't just disappear, even though you and I might think so. Like, what happens to the energy that we use up from exercise? Doesn't it just disappear? Actually, energy is gone from your body as you exercise, but it dissipates as heat into the environment. So the energy isn't lost, it's just transferring from you to the environment. This entails the second law of thermodynamics. Every energy transfer or transformation increases the entropy of the universe. So before we move on, you might be thinking, what's entropy? Well, entropy is basically disorder. So every en energy transformation increases the disorder of the universe. Isn't that great? We see it all the time. For example, I almost never make my bed in the morning because, let's face it, it's too early for that kind of stuff. I always leave it in a state of disorder. As I get up from my bed, I leave it messier than it was before. It's a loose analogy, but it's similar to what the second law of thermodynamics is like. Another example could be a rabbit hopping through the forest. Heat is dissipating as it hops, and small molecules are increasing the level of disorder of the universe as they dissipate from the rabbit's body into the environment. So as a review, there are two types of metabolic pathways, anabolic and catabolic. In addition, there are also the two laws of thermodynamics. I hope you found this video useful, and be sure to check out my other AP Biology videos.